A new book titled Too Famous by Michael Wolf reports that Steve Bannon gave sex offender Jeffrey Epstein hours of media training prior to a 60 minutes interview that didn't end up happening. Now, this was written about by Ben Smith in the New York Times. And I'll give you those details in a second. But Bannon apparently visited Epstein back in 2019, months before his arrest on charges related to federal sex trafficking. The pair met at Epstein's Upper East Side mansion ahead of a 60 minutes interview that never ended up happening. And the pair practiced for the interview with a camera. Now I'm gonna give you Bannon's statement in response to all of this in just a second. But I do think it's important to get into the nitty gritty, give you what the details are. Bannon is both conducting the interview and coaching Epstein on the little things, Ben Smith writes, telling him he will come across as stupid if he doesn't look directly into the camera now and then, and advising him not to share his racist theories on how black people learn. Mainly, Bannon tells Epstein he should stick to his message, which is that he is not a pedophile. <laughs> I mean, look, it's such a serious story. But look at this like a viper's nest of awful people. Like, now look, uh, Jeff, uh, we're all racist here, but it doesn't play well in America. Yeah. So let's stick to not being a pedophile, even though you're obviously a pedophile. Okay. <laughs> like, just. I mean, do I need to say anything more? I mean, and the right wing looks at that and goes, A, child molestation and child sex trafficking is horrible. B, those are my boys. What? Yeah. What? And why do you think the Republicans are constantly charging Democrats with child molestation and in participating in these child sex trafficking ranks? Projection. It's in their head all the time. So they go, well, if we're doing it, we assume they must be doing it. So, hey, Bannon's buddies with Jeffrey Epstein and goes and helps them do media manipulation like he did for Trump. And so he thinks, well, if we're all having, you know, we're doing whatever you're doing with kids, I guess the Democrats must be doing it too. Let's blame people. Now, come on, look here, show them the picture. There's another guy who seemed to be giving Jeffrey Epstein advice, and it was the guy that Bannon used to work for. Oh, look at that, hanging out with Epstein all the time. By the way, that's Ghislaine Maxwell. Uh, who's now in prison, uh, who helped Jeffrey Epstein uh, procure the women or the children actually uh, for his crimes. And Donald Trump wished her well twice after she'd been arrested. After she had been arrested, I wish her well, he said in a press conference before the American people. But who cares, right? I mean, look, child sex trafficking for these QAnon conspiracy theorists is only a serious issue if they can use it against their political opponents. If it has to do with people they agree with politically, well then it just becomes a little inconvenient. Yeah, so you know we've talked about how terrible it was that a lot of powerful people went on Epstein's island plane, including Bill Clinton. Um, they on the other hand would be like, oh yeah, you're right, Bill Clinton, terrible, Trump. Oh No, 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 Trump was just like chastising him or something. You know, Trump, I mean, every time we have pictures, by the way, there are multiple pictures of them arm in arm, partying together, etc. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's another, there's, it goes on and on. No, 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 Trump was yelling at him. Really, do they look like they're yelling at each other? They look like they're really good friends. That was at a party where they're both watching women dancing. And yeah, and they're leering at them and pointing them out. And Trump even said, I, everybody knows Jeffrey likes them young. He, he knew, he knew that he was with children, okay? Yep. And that he like, and he talked about how they, they would come over to Epstein's pool. He, Trump knew for a fact. And they're like, oh, it doesn't matter. As long as he's a Republican, we don't care. Do anything you want to kids, go help Jeffrey Epstein, the worst monster child sex trafficker in American history. Mm -hmm. Oh, That's all okay, as long as it's my guys like Bannon and Trump. You guys that never mean a goddamn thing. All you wanna do is just tear people down, tear down the left. And you, and you use all of these incredibly serious issues as just talking points and propaganda. It's really disgusting. It and is. so here's this disgusting, I could go on and on it with adjectives about Steve Bannon, I'll pull some back. But this slovenly mess of a man going, to, oh, Jeffrey, how can I help you make you look better about your pedophilia? And now, of course, he's gonna have a lot of BS excuses. Oh, no, I was trying to expose him. Get the out of here. Uh, yeah. Then why didn't you expose him when he was arrested?
or before. Oh, before why did you help the authorities? Did you turn in the information you had to the authorities? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, all of a sudden, when you're caught with your hand in the pedophile jar, Ugh. all of a sudden, oh my God, Jeffrey Epstein, I was just getting him on tape. No, you weren't, you monster. So uh, Ben Smith also writes in the New York Times of uh, Wolf's book and the uh, portion of the book that refers to all of this. By the end, Bannon seemed impressed. You're engaging, you're not threatening, you're natural, you're friendly. You don't look at all creepy, you're a sympathetic figure, Bannon says. Oh Yeah, the worst child sex trafficker in history in this country. You look sympathetic, you don't look like a creep at all. We did a great job. We'll be able to lie really effectively to the American people. We'll trick them into thinking that you didn't have sex with all those children. Well, we all know you did. Have I helped you enough, Bannon ass, right? Yeah. And every Republican goes, oh, I don't care, I don't care. They want to molest children, they're on my team, I love them. I love Bannon and Trump, who cares? Who cares about the kids? Oh, I think the Democrats do. Well, do you have any evidence of that? We have overwhelming evidence of this. No, yeah. I don't have any evidence of that, but some rando on Facebook told me, some rando on 4chan told me, if that still exists. I'm, I'm pretty sure it does, uh, but look, uh, Ben Smith, wanted to check up on this, right? Mm -hmm. So he hits up Bannon, he's like, yo, bro, I mean, this is what Wolf is writing about you. Like, any statement, do you wanna confirm this happened? And uh, Bannon did confirm that they met uh, and that there was 15 hours of footage with Epstein. However, Bannon disputed Wolf's characterization of the transcript. Bannon said that he never media trained anyone and was recording the interview for a previously unannounced and never released, by the way, eight to 10 hour documentary meant to illustrate how Epstein's perversions and depravity toward young women were part of his life. And that was systematically supported, encouraged and rewarded, get this, by the global establishment that dined off his money and his influence. Oh, That's interesting, like, are you referring to people like Donald Trump? And what happened to that documentary? What happened to it? Yeah, that was because Bannon helped, I mean, got Epstein on tape. By the way, let's note here, guys. Epstein agreed to have Bannon tape him, why? You think they would do that if they were enemies? <laughs> Imagine if uh, you know, an actual journalist like Ryan Grimm from The Intercept says to Jeffrey Epstein, hey, I'd like to come and tape you for 10, 15 hours, what do you think? <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein, well, look at hell no. I don't want to talk to you for 10 to 15 seconds, let alone 10 to 15 hours. Bannon, on the other hand, is buddies with him. So he's like, oh, you're gonna help me? Sure, yeah. I mean, here's a guy who knows he's being accused of the worst crimes you could imagine. And he lets this Bannon guy into his house for 10, 15 hours and puts himself on tape with possibly incriminating evidence. Why? Because he trusts Bannon 100%. Because they're really good friends. And apparently they must have been for a long time to build up that kind of trust. Mm -hmm. And so now Bannon, who never released any such documentary, had years and years to do it, never turned it over to the police. I mean, that is incredible evidence that you withheld from the police. Well, that's an interesting question. The police should ask him about, hey, why did you withhold that evidence about that child sex trafficker? Yeah. We got Ghislaine Maxwell in jail right now. We could use it against her. Give me the goddamn tapes, not me, give it to the cops. Why aren't you working with the cops? I thought you believed in law and order, Blue Lives Matter and all that stuff. No, you're withholding that evidence because you want to help your friend, the child molester. The child rapist. And let's be clear about something, okay? It's not Bannon's fault, it's the global cabal. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, the yeah. fact that he used that excuse as part of his response to Ben Smith. I, it's one talking point, one trick pony, and what's incredibly frustrating is that Americans eat it up. All, all these people need to do is spew hollow, empty talking points about the elites without ever getting very specific about it. And people are like, oh yeah, yeah, it's the elites, it's the elites. Okay, go on, go on. What do you think Steve Bannon is? You think Steve Bannon is like living in a tent on a sidewalk in Los Angeles? 
Anyway. Okay, and one last thing. So it's a great point. Who's the one major elite that Bannon knows? Homeboy's working for the Chinese government as we speak. Yeah, by the way, he knows a Chinese <laughs> billionaire. That's another elite, that's a good point. Yeah. But the one he's most famous for is a so-called real estate mogul billionaire who became president. That would be the definition of elite. And that's the one Bannon knows the best. Right. And if you were planning to spring a trap on these global elite who were buddies with Epstein, well, do you have that information? Do you have it on these folks and you're not telling us? No, oh, guys, again, if you're a right winger, why don't you ask Bannon these questions? Hey, brother, do you have evidence on all these guys? Because you said you got it. You were working with Epstein to expose the global elites. So where's your goddamn evidence, Steve? Where is it? And who are you gonna expose? And why have you been hiding it for year after year after year? Why are you hiding it? Nah, don't get caught and then go, oh yeah, oh yeah, I was, oh, I was gonna get him. I mean, on table, it looks like I'm helping him. And I'm telling him how sympathetic he is. But I was gonna get him much later, many, many, many years after he's already dead. And maybe what, after his co conspirator gets acquitted? When were you going to expose him, Steve? What a monstrous liar. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, so really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.